I'm Wesley Scott with Archways and Ceilings Made Easy. Today I decided to stop by a job site to get a customer review. So let's go see what they have to say. All right, I'm at a local job site here in Texas, and I'm with Eric Still with Eric Still Contractors. How you doing today, man? Very good. So you've been an Archways and Ceilings customer for quite some time. How long now have you been using our products? Uh, five years. Okay, now what are some of the uh, advantages of using us versus traditionally framing it? So why use us? Uh, time. Mostly I can take the stuff that would typically take me seven hours. Uh, we can do an hour and a half. It's all made with machines. It's always perfect. You don't ever have any little ups and downs in it uh, for the amount of money it takes to buy the material to uh, build the arch plus the labor. It's probably half as much just to have it already made on the machine and nail it up as far as labor goes. It's far less labor intensive. It's just a good deal for us. Now, any uh, special tools needed when you guys install our product? Nail gun, saw, maybe a trim gun or a Half inch crown staple gun, maybe. Now, I guess the key, drill, maybe. key question is is it as easy as it looks in our videos? I know you watch some of our videos online. Is it that easy? Uh, after the first one, they're easier than the videos, always. They're, they're, you always know, you never forget. It's All right. simple. I know today you guys are installing a dome ceiling, a radius tray ceiling, a cove, and a growing vault. How long do you think it's going to take you to install all that stuff today? Six or seven hours, probably. Six or seven hours? Give or take. And nail gun and saw, that's it? That's it, and scaffold. All right, Eric, you just said it's going to take you roughly about six hours to install this whole job. How, how long would it take you typically if you had to build all this out of material yourself? Yeah, probably two and a half days, I would imagine. Real close to that. Now, now, when you install all the products, do you ever have to worry about framing inspection, red tags, or anything like that, like you normally would do when you frame something? Not typically. If they ask any questions, we, you know, it's, it's a pretty given system, and if, if we ever have any trouble, we just go back and do whatever they ask us to, but it, you know, it always works good, and we've never had any trouble. All right, Eric, let's go on inside. I'm going to ask you a few more questions, and when we go inside, we're going to show some of you guys installing some of the products, uh -huh. and we're going to show some of the guys at home on how to measure and place their order. Just go inside. All right, today you have a few ceilings to install. One of them is the growing faults in the entryway, roughly 14 by 16 foot. Using the archways and ceilings product, how long do you think that's going to take you to install? About two and a half hours. About two and a half hours? Yeah. Now, if you were to fill frame that out of material found here on the job site, one, could you use scrap to build something that big? You could, but uh, no, not really. All right, because I, I get that all the time. Builders tell me, oh, we use scrap. You know, when you're building ceilings that big, it's not possible. You need, you need fresh material, right? It's better, yeah. Absolutely. Now, so how long would it take you? You're cutting the radiuses out? Uh, probably a day and a half. All right, so there's yeah. several time savings. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and then uh, we also have a dome ceiling here in the house. And I, I like our domes because those are the fastest things to install. Quick and they're easy. How long would it take you to install a seven foot dome? Uh, less than an hour. Less than an hour? That's pretty quick. Yeah, I think so. Hey Eric, I thought you said it was going to take about an hour to put up this dome. It did. We took a break, we rolled it out. We took another break, then we set up the scaffold. Then we took another break, then I went to the store. <laughs> then we came back and then he nailed it up. It took an hour. Pretty easy. So how long actually did it take you guys, roughly? About 10 minutes. Sweet. Alright, you've been working for us for about five years with our products. Give me one cool experience in your past that you found using our choice and ceilings has helped you. Uh, it was about a month and a half ago in Allen, Texas. And the, it, it was a hallway, it was 55 feet long, and it had 11 growing vaults straight in a row, and there was no delineation between them. They came down to each point, and uh, it would have taken me four days to frame that many growing vaults in a row. And uh, it took uh, seven hours, all 11 vaults in, braced them all out, tore the scaffold down, and was onto the next ceiling. And for me, that was the coolest thing probably that we had ever come up with. The, the photographs and the finished product of it was pretty unbelievable, I thought. So I, when, when using archways and ceilings, it's faster, it's affordable, and it's always perfect. Every time. 
Now, now, as far as the product being installed, is it sturdy? How sturdy is it? Is it strong? Uh, it's pretty strong on the last uh, last job that I, the last install that I did. Me and both of my guys that worked with me hung off of the uh, coister ceiling to make sure they were strong enough to hold up. So I'm sure it'll hold up any type of sheetrock. I'm pretty good size. I, I'm, I'm not concerned about sheetrock or anything coming off of it or it ever coming down under any circumstances. I, 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 I'd give it a thumbs up on that for sure. All right, typically before, uh, let's say you're framing this house right now and you want her to order product, what, what do you normally do? Would you just measure the opening? Typically, yeah. First of all, I try to make sure everything was good and square and check it before I called in any measurements. And then I try to fix it if it wasn't. Once everything is figured out that it's all good and square and and we know where everything is going to go, then I'd get the the width and the length of each groin vault or the width of the doorways or the height of the ceilings and everything, the height of the spring on the vault or whatever. And then uh, once I had all that written down, I'd either uh, call it in or email it or fax it or I'd get it to you guys and somehow or another it always comes out right. All right, now, so we, like when you're framing a big house, so I guess a good time to, to order would be when you're setting the roof rafters. Because right. our product usually comes out within five days from the order. Yeah. So do you do this on punch out usually when you come back in and throw everything up? I usually wait until it's decked and dried in before I put it up. I know that the stuff is pretty much waterproof, but I don't like to see water sitting on it just in case. Now, I guess the most important question I'm going to ask you, would you ever refer our Twist and Ceilings products to any of your customers or any other framer friends of yours? Absolutely. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> yeah, I already have, I guess, hundreds of times. Thanks for the time, Eric. I uh, appreciate you.